Uh, I think of him as Scott Pilgrim. He, he, I almost don't remember g- him given, as Michael given, Scott. Yeah, exactly. given, given Scott and the graphic novel is a bit more of a dick, but... <laughs> Absolutely. He's more of a... Well, he's more a, yeah. of a stronger person, personality, yes. than Michael Sarah. Yeah, Michael Sarah is a very geeky mm, kid. Yeah. But it, play, but it played out well. For the yeah. Movie. Absolutely. Translation. One thing Perfect. that's funny is, like, the whole reason they expanded the Best Picture thing to, like, ten nominees or however many more was because The Dark Knight wasn't nominated in 2008. Like, people yeah. were just furious about that. And now, like, they're not even going to... The Dark Knight wasn't nominated? Are you kidding me? No, dude. It, that wow. movie got nothing. It got, like, a couple visual effects nominations, but, like, nothing. Especially, he especially like... with Heath, Heath's performance. That's another yeah, thing. Yeah, Heath. He didn't, oh, Heath anything. did. Yeah, he won. Say, he won. He yeah. won. Best, best, uh, yeah, he won. Actor? Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. as far as the movie's concerned, he got nothing. He, like, yeah. cuts the guy up, like, <clears throat> when he's just like, oh, you know, he's doing the threat over the video. That was, like, chill, oh, yeah. like spine chilling. Oh, yeah. Great job, man. Yeah, rest in peace, dude. That was a great performance. But, yeah, like, Nolan didn't get a director nomination for that or Inception. That's I don't know what not, he did to piss off the Academy. The trilogy thing. I mean, the, it feels like it's been made already. Why? I mean, it's definitely a different storyline, but it's been made. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not original like we were saying earlier. Yeah. You know? I can see why they don't throw the Dark Knight in as for best picture. Yeah, that's I mean, a little bit more understandable. Thing. Everybody likes the following up of it. Yeah. But it's been made. But what's know? weird yeah, is that... But, but, but just because something's original doesn't mean it's good. It just because something's no, not, it's true. Yeah, true. It just because something's not original doesn't mean it's not good. Maybe. So there is something to be said for originality. I'll give it that. It mm-hmm. is worth points. But in the end, what it comes down to is how enjoyable was the film. I think. Mm. Yeah. I okay. think that's. I think that's more important than breaking barriers because it's, if there's two films, one's original, but it's shit, and then one's been done a million times, but it's awesome and entertaining. What are? What I'd are rather the watch the pictures? one the film I'm familiar yeah, with. You know. Yeah, but what's interesting to me is that like. Because Dark Knight, even though it didn't get Best Picture or Best Director, that still racked up a bunch of uh, like sound nominations. Yeah. This one got nothing. I don't think there was a single nomination for this, which is really interesting to me. Because, like, I mean, even though there are problems with it, like we said. Well, that is absurd. That's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seems but... to me, Oscar nominees, that I have a bomb in my room. <laughs> but... One of you has the trigger. <laughs> if we do not have the nominees changed, it will go off. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Academy's reckoning now. But yeah. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I totally lost my train of thought. Now I got distracted. Uh, fuck. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, best Picture nominees for this one again. That French movie, Amour, whatever that is. I still haven't seen that. Never even heard. Yeah, of it. apparently it's supposed to be good, but that's another thing. Okay, I know it's about. It's like a family drama. I know. Okay, apparently it's good, but if <laughs> I just think that directing a Batman movie or a Bin Laden movie or a Iranian hostage crisis movie is a lot more difficult to direct than a simple family movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it, I have it, to applaud it the... It largely depends. Yeah, the challenge that these other directors are facing. But anyway, that's nominated. Argo is nominated. Good. Uh, Beast of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Les Mis, Ooh. Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. Now, who do you think is going to win? Think I'm gonna win or want to win? Oh. Well, I want Django to win. That's I not. Yeah, it's not going to. It's not going to. I kind of want Django to win. I think Lincoln those. wins. <clears throat> Lincoln's gonna win. I think, I think Lincoln. Wins. I think Les Mis might. Either win. that or uh, Beast of the Southern Wild. I think. I it's think, not gonna be Les Mis. I think it'll win. Here's the deal. Since like 19, I think it's like 1990. Almost every single Best Picture winner has also won Best Director. Mm-hmm. And let's go yeah, through here. Was... Argo Best Director not nominated. Django not nominated. Les Mis not nominated. Lincoln. Zero Dark Thirty not nominated, so it's like it's got to be Lincoln, dude. That it's I lead, feel it's going to be Lincoln, Lincoln has the most nominations. Be, yeah, yeah if, I hope not, but I like Lincoln, but it's not Best Picture worthy. But yeah, so that's that's what we're going for right now. Either that, maybe Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah, probably Beast of the Southern Wild. It's it's real competition, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Django just got too much, you know. Criticism. How do you not nominate him for Best Director, the criticism, dude? Man. Let me check, see if it even got best screenplay. Because people are pissed off over fucking stupid silly shit. Man, people are I dumb. Just watching it, it didn't bother oh, okay. me. Okay, it got a best original screenplay, which makes me happy. But there's really nothing for Moonrise Kingdom either. That got best original didn't see screenplay. It. Yeah, no one I've talked to personally has been bothered by it either. Yeah, yeah you can watch. I mean, it was that time. Oh, that's I think I think about. a lot of people that got bothered by it were people that actually didn't see it. What? Which one? Moonrise? Uh, Django. Oh, Django, yeah. Yeah, and they should give it a shot. It's, it's yeah. Another one I want to bring up, uh, Best Original Screenplay. Uh, I don't think Flight deserved the nomination. Okay, that's a great movie, but that's all based off Denzel. Yeah. I think Looper yeah. should have got a Best Original Screenplay, just for its pure originality and just the way it was put together, just because it came mm-hmm. out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Like, it's a very well-written movie. Like, even if you don't... I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't say... 
it's super original. I've seen a time. I mean, I liked it. I'm just saying. I like most stuff that comes out. out I, of I've it. seen. I've seen a lot of the time traveling go back. I mean, it reminds me a lot of like some of the old Arnold films. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. The Looper. Yeah. Yeah. Young like Total Recall and all that. Yeah, shit. yeah. I mean, there's been a lot like it. It's in a similar shame. feel to it. Yeah. Just remade yeah. different characters. It was good. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was good. I just don't have to see it. Yeah. yeah. I liked it a lot. Sword watching. Uh, yeah, sure. no, yeah, yeah. It was, I was told it was definitely a, a yeah. w- one to watch. I'm just yeah. gonna go I, I had a whole bunch of issues with some of the, the time stuff, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plot holes. I think, I think I covered that already in another uh, <laughs> earlier episode. Yeah. Uh, also, nothing for Perks of Being a Wallflower. Probably because no one over the age of 60 is in that movie, you know? Nothing for the old people to relate to. You know what? Did you guys see that movie? I did, did not. No. Okay. I keep hearing great things about it. It's a really it. like, good movie. You, I know okay. you and Justin loved it. So. Yeah, I was really surprised by it, but that got nothing. Not even a best adapted screenplay. God. And, and I know it was like a like it's a really big well. It's book. it didn't seem like it was very well known by a lot of people. Not a lot of people. Well, it was heard a big book. It. I've heard. I'd heard. I mean, I'd heard oh, about the book. book. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a book. It was a book for a long time. Mm-hmm. I, I've heard about the book. I just I've never heard of. <laughs> I just didn't. It just had no appeal to me to go see it. The guy who actually wrote the book wrote and directed the movie, actually. Which but got, I think that's. Which I, I, think, funny. I think that's yeah. actually. I think that's actually one of the the flaws is unless you were a fan of the book, most people didn't go see it because there really wasn't a whole lot of like. It didn't crazy, make it money, money at all. There really. wasn't crazy advertising or no. anything. Mm-hmm. It was one of those movies that just kind of flew under the radar. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, and I think that's, that's probably it. why. Yeah. Know, it wound up where it did. For let's see here, what else can I whine about? Uh, cinematography, nothing for Batman. That's surprising, actually. Yeah, considering yeah, all the innovative I mean, all that shit. Out of everything I didn't like, it did have good cinematography. Yeah, yeah. it did. Wally Pfister, he's a great cinematographer. But um, I'm happy Skyfall got a nomination. Yeah. That's, that yeah. was some good camera work. And uh, did they Lincoln. get, like, uh, what did they win the best Skyfall? song for? Yeah, yeah Adele. Yeah. Adele. Yeah. Adele. They won the yeah, Golden Globe the other night. I thought it was a yeah. great intro. I thought Please. she was going to eat yeah. her award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was <laughs> drunk, dude. She was, was she? drunk. I could tell, yeah. She's like, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you guys. Yeah. That's a terrible Adele impression, by the way. But yeah, I'm just <laughs> that was pretty funny. But it's uh, a good song, though. That's it yeah, was, good I thought it was one of the best. I like Skyfall a lot, actually. It, was, it, was only one of the better it didn't make the top I, ten, I, but I, I liked graphic, it. I thought the graphics weren't that great, but what? Because they, they had some weird oh. they had some weird transitions. Like I'm so used to like the 007 songs and being really smooth transitions between all the different things, and then yeah. they had a couple where it like blinked and changed. It was hmm. dark. I like how dark it was. No, I did like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm just saying the transitions alone. Where we were, I get you, yeah. Kind of messed it up for me. Yeah. Because it wasn't just like smooth one and the other. It was like, oh, blink, new scene. <laughs> you know. Should we just agree that Daniel Day Lewis is going to win the Oscar? For, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Should there be any 100%. mention of anyone else? Or, yeah. I mean, come on now. That's pretty crazy. Um, did a, a great job. It was just. I'll, I'll, totally I'll trust you on this character. one because I still haven't seen Lincoln. So. Oh, dude. <laughs> you don't need to do it. I mean, like, he's got it won. Yeah. I'm telling you. That was a. Phenomenal performance. It really was. I mean, nothing else yeah. right now to me could beat out a performance that he did. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, look through the other categories. There's nothing else I'm particularly pissed off about. Other than fact, sound, all the sound stuff, there's nothing for Batman or Avengers, which is ridiculous because of the sound effects in that. Who was that? Who did Batman? Was that Hans Zimmer again? Or? That's the score. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about like the oh, okay. sound the editing sound and sound mixing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like during all the fight scenes on it. But, uh, yeah, so apparently that's our thoughts on the Oscar nominations. We'll probably give our predictions when they, and thoughts when that airs. Yeah. All right, so apparently we're going to move on to the reviews now.